When I was growing up on a college campus, it was Tennessee State University. Um, my dad and my mother, every year around Christmas time, do you know what was under the tree? A chemistry set. <laughs> and every year, I almost burned down the campus. Um, and uh, I put it away. And around our dinner table, I know we have on panel the dean of the engineering school. Um, we would have the dean of the engineering school at Tennessee State University. Because my father, as a scientist, would talk to me, son, science is where it's happening. That's what you need to do. Those are the big thinkers. Those are the innovators. Those are the people who get things done. And, uh, you know, and all he would do, he then went on to become president of his alma mater, Florida A&M University. And what's kind of interesting, because the person just retired, he worked with the former chancellor of the California State University, Charlie Reed, who just retired, I think, in 2012 as the chancellor of California State University. And he would talk to Chancellor Reed. We need to go get more uh, African Americans and minorities and Latinos in, in, into the science area. And when I, when I think about it and I fast forward, I'm with Microsoft and here with millennials and they'll be talking about it. In some ways, some things haven't changed. We need more millennials to be sparking change when it comes to getting in science, technology, and engineering and math. Now, I talk to my dad once a week and he always says the same thing. What has Microsoft done for those that don't have the same opportunities as many others? What are you doing in African American and Latino and doing for women in, in the community. And what we try to do, as well as many other technology companies, we try to make a difference. So let me give you a few little facts and then talk a little bit about what we do and then uh, leave you with another uh, person that I wanna talk about just real quickly. One is just the state of play, California. Only 2% of the California students take advanced placement computer science tests. That's just close to 5,000 students. Close to 2,500 of those students are Asian American. 74 African American. 375 Latinos. The rest uh, white. That's not a good situation when you look at the number of uh, students in high school um, in California. Let's look at the job situation. There are 122,000 jobs open right now here in the U.S., but it requires a computer science degree. But we only produce 50,000 students a year that graduate um, with a CS degree. How are we looking to correct uh, those uh, different challenges? Well, one thing that we're doing at Microsoft, we have a technology education and uh, arts and lit uh, literacy in schools uh, program called TEALS. We have one in the city of LA where we have this like 275 uh, uh, developers, computer science uh, experts that volunteer their time to go work in the schools year-round to teach computer science.